Hey everybody and welcome to Sally's Recipe of the Week brought to you by Doris Italian Market and Bakery. And uh, welcome to Casa de Mo and Sally. We've got Mo with us and Curtis is back in what I call Mission Control, kind of running things for us. Tonight we are going to make pan-fried cod with apple slaw. Mo and I went to Doris a few days ago and they had cod on sale. Beautiful Atlantic cod, or I should say um, Alaskan cod. And um, I don't cook with cod that much, and I thought, you know, this could be fun, and, and let's fry it. Let's fry something. So that's what we're going to do tonight. And, um, because it's Friday, right? Oh, you have to do that? No, that was that, <laughs> no, was, that, that was bad, right? <laughs> yeah, that hurt me. All right. Uh, Anne wants to say hello. Uh, Roland is in here as well. Welcome, everybody. Uh, we're just getting started. Yeah. We got Sally's gonna here, in here too. What's that? Wendy and Anna are in here too. Oh, hi, hi, Wendy. Hi, hi, Anna. Hope you guys are having a nice Friday. Yeah, I'm sorry we couldn't do the recipe yesterday. Somebody had to play in a golf tournament. Well, also, also this kitchen was nothing but dust and filth, and and it's all clean now, so we're all good. Well, so it's still a bit, a bit bare. We haven't put every, anything uh, back yet. But. Yeah, if you switch cameras, Curtis, you can kind of see what we're living in here. Uh, well, this looks much better than it did not too terribly long ago. I'm bare. Yeah, I've kind of put this back together a little bit, but uh, yeah, I mean, there's, I mean, we still got. Yeah. Yeah, but uh, hey, new new colors, new paint. It's all good, and you got to see how dusty it was, though. I got a shout out to uh, Premium Painters. They did a great job. Uh, take a look. If you want to see how dusty it was, look at the inside. <laughs> look at that. <laughs> <laughs> That's the same tile. <laughs> yeah, the whole floor is just, oh man, it's crazy. But the ceilings look nice and smooth. So no more popcorn. No more popcorn. No more popcorn. Lighter paint on the walls, so we're very, very happy. Yeah, this right. is just going to snowball. Snowball. It's just the beginning. So we like to start off the evening with um, some cheese, and, some white and cheese, because we always tell you that Doris Italian Market and Bakery has the best cheese selection and we seem to always gravitate towards this brand yancey's fancy uh cheese this yeah is, this is a new york cheddar but what do they call it it's it's new york's artisan cheese and this is steakhouse onion steakhouse onion yeah but it, it, the, the cheese itself is a cheddar but it's got that steakhouse onion flavor have you had some yet well i was going to show the wine too oh yeah and we got this at doris as well caramel road it's a Cabernet Sauvignon. Hey, Chicken Mike. How hey, you doing? Mike. Bear's in here as well. Hi, Bear. What do you think of the wine? I haven't tasted it yet. And this was not expensive wine. How much was it? <laughs> Karen Weagle says, damn it, you're interrupting my online shopping. <laughs> oh, what's <laughs> you buying? Yeah. What are you, what are, you, are you buying Curtis a waffle maker? Mm -hmm. So Carmel Road with the Steakhouse Onion mm -hmm. cheese. I'm going to tell you. See why they call that steakhouse onion. Mm -hmm. That is exactly what it reminds me of. I wasn't sure I would like it, oh, but yeah. man, that is delicious. You thought you was going to dislike a cheese? Hey. Has it ever happened? Once, I think. <laughs> <laughs> That's good. Try oh, that. man. Mm. Yeah, try a uh, steakhouse onion. So. With a little Cabernet. Really Rowan, good. I'll talk to you during the cooking show, but I can't hijack the show just to talk to you. Oh, awesome. Roland wants you to talk to him? Yeah, he's... Roland, he's got a job to do. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so like I said, um, they had cod on sale at Doris, and it stays on sale until Wednesday if you, if you want to give this a try. And they also, at the North Palm Beach, a little tip for you, I think I've told some of you guys this before, but... They'll also have sometimes in-store specials that aren't on their ads. They're just individual stores that have the specials. Their in-store special, at least last time I was there, was the Petite Filet. We made a Petite Filet um, here once, and I loved it, so I bought one of those, too. But we're going to do cod. We have to say uh, hello to uh, Linda Brooks. All Lockdown right. Linda, watching uh, from North Carolina, and she's still working. What? Oh, Linda. Linda, come on. It's the weekend. Knock off early. And says she has to go yell at her husband for being stupid. Happy cooking. Don't leave yet. And I need the tea. What did he do? 
<laughs> right, uh -huh. yeah. <laughs> we must know what do. All right, so let's start off with our cod. What I've got in this bowl is simply a half a cup of milk, milk or cream. I happen to have half and half, so that's what I use. And one egg, and you just feed it all together, okay? And what we're going to do is we're going to take our cod, and when you get this cod, it's going to, there's going to be a lot more fish around here that's thinner. I just trimmed that off. I didn't throw it away. I'll use it for something else, like maybe make a, a fish sandwich. But I want, I want to fry this so it's nice and even. See, so it's nice and even like that. All right, let's get but in there's, here. There's no reason to throw the, the, the scraps away. So you're going to roll it around in this combination of egg and milk. That's all that's in here is egg and milk. And you're going to let it soak for a little while. So while it soaks, we'll work on our slaw, okay? So just like that. Now, we'll, of course, have to wash my hands. Nice. We'll just set it aside and just let it soak. So if you're just joining us, uh, Sally is uh, making cod, <laughs> fried, pan fried cod. cod, and you can get the recipe at 1055online.com. And we're going to have an apple slaw to go with it. And I'm not sure that's what your husband's doing if he's been in there. Yeah, he might be having some alone time, if you know what I mean. <laughs> she said he in the bathroom constantly. He's been showering for 50 minutes. He's been showering for 50 minutes. Uh, yeah, you might want to yeah. check on him. I was going to say, yeah, is your, is your husband a teenager? But you seem to have already figured that out. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my gosh. All right, we're done with that. Hopefully. <laughs> Okay, so like I said, while the, while the cod soaks, we're going to work on our slaw, and we're going to start with the dressing, okay? This is really delicious. All I have in here is half a cup of your favorite mayonnaise, and then you're going to put in two tablespoons. Look at the Doris. Yay, thank you, Doris. Of apple cider vinegar. Hi, Martina. Marina. Is it uh, uh, and I even have my glasses on. Oh, oh Lord, God. we need to take those back. I guess I we need I to increase the, uh, the the cheaters. A tablespoon of sugar. You can use some other kind of sweetener if you don't want to use sugar. A tablespoon of grainy mustard. You know, like that whole grain mustard? Yep. Uh, I happen to have stone ground Dijon mustard. And uh, so I love Dijon mustard. So that's what I'm using. But if you have like a good deli mustard, that would be fine. But make sure it's that, that whole ground mustard. Um, also, about a half of a teaspoon of caraway seeds or celery seeds, or you could even use fennel seeds. I happen to have, uh, well, I have fennel seeds too, but I have, I had caraway seeds and um, smell the smoke. What do you think? It has kind of a licorice-like licorice -like smell. Mm, that's good. It's actually the dried fruit of a caraway plant. So don't add too much because a little goes a long way. So about half a teaspoon of that, and then a teaspoon of salt, a teaspoon of pepper. That's what's in here, and I mixed it all up, okay? And then, of course, you want to taste it. You can taste it with a spoon, or sometimes I'll actually stick in, like, a, a piece of cabbage or something. Oh, I taste that caraway right away. That caraway would make a nice candle. Stick a wick in <laughs> it there. Smell good. Mm, it's good. I like, I like the combination. So, now... Sorry, at, Marina. What did you do? Well, I got her name wrong. Oh, uh, Bear has the watch party going. Uh, hey, Bear, who's in the party? Sorry, I'm trying to do camera work and read. Shout out to Christy. She's the one that thought I was a scam call when I was to uh, calling her about the cookies and cocoa. <laughs> oh, is she in here? <laughs> yep. I hope you enjoyed your cookies and cocoa. Uh, nice. Lisa's on the eggnog. I need some eggnog. Uh, that sounds good. Sounds bad, <laughs> Okay, so wait a second. It sounds fattening, and and, I'm fine. and, we're, and we're, we're frying, frying fish. fish and we're soaking it. It's bathing in butter and no, or, no, uh, cream. Milk. Well, cream, milk and cream, or what? Okay, and eggs. An egg. Yeah. Okay, so what the slaw is made of? Obviously, we got the dressing. Is uh, a half a head of light green cabbage. The key. One bunch of scallions, all chopped up. Uh, one carrot, grated, and. Obviously, since it's an apple slaw, we're going to put in an apple, and you want to julienne the apple, okay? Uh, and I, I can, I do all this ahead of time: the, the cabbage, the carrots, the onion. But I don't do the apple ahead of time because apples can brown pretty easily. I know you can squeeze lemon juice over the cut apple, and it's supposed to help it. But I just find that I like to, I like to go ahead and julienne it, and then stick it right in the dressing because the dressing will keep it from browning. Because you don't want it to get brown. So I did not pre-cut the apple. 
um, just for that reason. So to Julianne and Apple, you know, of course, an apple has a core. It goes right down there, right? Everybody knows that. So you're going to take your knife and just go a little bit away from the core so you don't get it and simply slice that apple. Okay. Is this what they call, is this julianning an apple? Mm -hmm. That's what we're going to do. I don't even know what that means. Well, she's telling you right now. All right. And then you're going to take the side, cut that, and the side, and cut that. Okay. So now we've got all these nice little pieces. And then your core goes away. So then you're just going to take these slices and slice it this way. Let me put on my glasses so I don't take off the spider. Please, please, Lord. Yeah, <laughs> we don't need to go to the emergency room tonight. I cut some of this out. I got a little bit of the core there. Oh, geez, you're making me nervous. <laughs> me too. Right? <laughs> Man, she's drinking wine. And she's... <laughs> I always drink wine when I cook. Oh, Lord. There we go. All right, so back to this. So you saw how I sliced it before. Now we're just going to slice it into these little strips, just like that. And then you stack the strips on top of each other like this. And then just oh, line geez. them up. Oh, my God. <laughs> just, like, just like that. There you go. And you throw them right in there. So we'll no, but they, did they call that a, a Julianne because it was a lady named Julianne and she was too happy with a, a knife or something? Absolutely no idea. <laughs> Julianne sliced up her husband like that. Yeah, she was mad at somebody. Yeah, he was showering for 50 minutes and uh, <laughs> she just cut him up. I, got, I broke that one, but that's okay. Sean, that's a great question. I don't know who clicked that either. Someone clicked the angry emo emoji on a response to the video. And I'm going to find out after this is done. Don't worry. The angry emoji? Yeah, somebody angry. I don't know Why what they mad about. Why would you be angry over pan fried cod? Uh, we have to say hello to Joanne. First time on Cooking with Sally, but listen every morning during my run. Love you guys. Well, Thank welcome, Joanne. Welcome, Joanne. Thank you, Joanne. We normally do this on Thursday, but uh, we're having some renovation work uh, or some painting and stuff done to our house, and so everything was a mess. Yep. So that's why we're doing this on Friday. Yeah. Karen says she'll come over with her first aid kit. <laughs> Thank you, Karen. Well, you know what Karen's first aid kit is. Why? Booze. All right, so we're just popping it. I'm just cutting up the apple and tossing it in there. All right, I'll so. I'll a little bit for later. Nobody wants to sit here and watch me slice. So while you're doing that, I'm going to come over here again and reiterate uh, that we're having Carmel Road Cabernet. And this is not expensive wine either. It's, oh, having it in the Honda Classic Ambassador's Glass. And remember you have the aerator on the wine, okay? It's not yeah. in, the, in the freaking trash can. Oh, I know. Twice last week we went looking for this thing in the garbage. because, And it was on top of a bottle of wine where it's supposed to be. Yep. Steakhouse Onion. Let me move that little piece of... All right. Yancey's Fancy Steakhouse Onion. Goes great with a Cabernet. Mmm. That's good stuff. Okay. All right, what are we doing now? So, got our, got our apple in there. We're going to add cabbage that I thinly sliced, cored and thinly sliced. Okay? I might have gotten too small of a bowl, so I might not use all the cabbage. Um, we'll see. Add the carrots. One carrot that I grated, a bunch of scallions that I thinly sliced, white part and light green part. That's all in there. And you know, you can do what I did. You don't necessarily have to add all the cabbage, but then once you, once you start mixing it up, you can add more cabbage to it if you want to. It just really depends on how you like your ratio of dressing to salad. I, I think that's the first time I've ever seen coleslaw been made before. You've never seen coleslaw be made? No, yeah, I don't think so. Uh, Joanne says she loves Doris Market. Yeah, it's awesome. So do we. Yeah, Joanne, you need that cheese. It is, uh, I don't know, I, I, I've seen it in the store quite a few times, and I was like, mm, I don't know, Steakhouse Onion, I don't know if I'd be a fan. Yeah, uh, I'm fans. a fan. Yeah, it's really good. I don't think I've had a cheese there I don't like. You? Nope. Delicious cheeses, wines. And I'm just folding this in the salad. 
Got all that dressing on the bottom there. Susan says uh, she's going to have fish tomorrow, and she's going to make that slaw. I'm enjoying watching, as always, drinking a Johnny Walker Black with soda. I'm at. My gosh. I never had scotch with soda before. I like you already. Johnny Walker Black so, with soda. Yeah, if you go, if you make this slaw, don't don't add all the cabbage right away. See how you like it. Um, because that's a lot of cabbage. You know, you you get a head of cabbage like that, and by the time you slice it up, it's like like this. All right. So that looks pretty well mixed. I am going to turn up the heat on the oil so we can start frying. Karen says she forgot to eat lunch. And she wow. just scarfed down a Caesar salad. I would never forget to eat. No. He never. He doesn't even understand the concept. <laughs> we work with a guy like that. Brian's like that. Oh, I just forgot to eat today. <laughs> okay. I don't, I don't forget to eat ever. That's all nice and toss. We're going to set that aside. And we'll serve that up with our fish. So there's nothing else you have to do with that. No. It's just It's ready to go. And, you know, if we were going to be a while, I'd stick, it, stick, it, in the I'd stick it in the fridge. Yeah, so it all stays right. nice and cold. But, yeah, I didn't use all the cabbage. I don't think I'm going to. I'll find, a, I'll find something else for that. Also, the apple. So we need to make what we're going to bread our fish with, which is, by the way, soaking in milk or cream and one egg, all beaten up. It's just soaking in that. Actually, I'm going to give it a flip. You have to wash my hands again. Just give it, give it a good soak. Are we all good, Curtis? Because uh, I'm having internet issues here. So far, okay. We had some jumps earlier, but um, yeah, my computer's uh, it's frozen. Okay. Well, we were having Facebook problems. Was it yesterday? Yeah, it might be Facebook because Facebook. Um, right now, they can suck it. Okay, so on the stove, I've got olive, not olive oil. I've got vegetable oil heating in a in a heavy bottom pan. I know heavy bottom. Um, but you want a nice dirty pan, and I have, there's about, about a half inch of oil in there, okay? If you want to put a little more, do I just put a half inch, I think that's plenty. And in here, for our breading, this is simply half cup of panko breadcrumbs. If you have some other kind of breadcrumb you'd rather use, use it. That's fine. I like panko, and I had it. Um, or if you had crackers, like some Ritz crackers or some saltine crackers, and you wanted to put them in a food processor and grind them up, you, you could even do that. Half a cup, half a cup of good old all-purpose flour, that's in there. A fourth to a half a teaspoon of cayenne pepper. This does not make it overly spicy, I promise. Try just a little bit to get that flavor in there, it really helps. Say hi to uh, John, he says, how you doing? Hi John, how you doing? I'm gonna have a sip of wine, that's how I'm doing. <laughs> Oh, we almost made Chicken Mike burn his red beans watching us. <laughs> Sorry, Mike. <laughs> and then, of course, salt and pepper. A teaspoon of salt, a teaspoon of pepper. This, this recipe is on our website, 1055online.com. But once again, I added caraway seeds as a list of ingredients for your um, slaw dressing. But I forgot to tell you when to put the caraway in there. You just, just throw it in there when, you, when you're making the dressing. So I, I, I always seem to forget one step. If Chicken Mike has a recipe for, what do you say, red beans? Mm -hmm. We might need to get that. I might, probably we need to that. experiment with some red beans. Sally, Susan would like to know if you think a uh, pear is a suitable substitute for apple. For Could like you? baking? No, no, no. no for for, for your slaw. Oh, I think, actually, I think that would be nice. Yeah, I think it you would. You want too. a firm pear, though. You know how sometimes you get pears and they're kind of, they're soft? You want a, a little bit firmer pear because you don't want it to fall apart. But I bet that would be good. You want to squeeze the pear and make sure that it's firm. Okay. Get your hand out of the. <laughs> okay, so the oil is looking good and hot. We're going to take our cod. Uh, and like I said, you could use mahi mahi. You could use grouper with this. But cod is on sale, so I bought it because I haven't had it. Yeah, when was the last time we had cod? You're asking time. me? Yeah. <laughs> no idea. You just put the food in front of him and he eats it. He'll know what yeah. he eating. Yeah. Okay, so you're going to obviously shake off a little bit of the excess and we're going to put it in our breading and get it nice and coated. And you want to make sure your oil is hot, medium high heat. And again, everybody, uh, this is, of course, Sally's Recipe of the Week brought to you by Doris Italian Market. That's where we got uh, the cod. Mm -hmm. That's where we got the cheese and the wine. 
It's where we get everything. It's uh, it's fabulous. If you've never been to Doris, uh, you got to check them out. They yeah. got uh, a great selection of uh, cheeses, wine, wine. They got a great bakery. And you know, I've bought, uh, I've bought, I've bought food for other recipes that were like Italian, not Italian, but like Mexican and stuff like that. Because they do have, uh, they have international sections. It's not just Italian food. But they do have great time. Oh, okay, Chicken Mike, please send us the recipe for your red beans. He has sausage, ham, and bacon in his red beans. All right, well, we got to come around. Oh, am I going to come around? Because yeah. we got to stick. Well, I'm not going to throw it in the pan. Get my wine. I don't <laughs> That'd be a fun game. Throw the cod in the pan from there. Yeah, let's see if you make it. All right, I had to stop for some cheese. All right, see, see it's smoking just a little bit? But we are frying it. Sally, do you know offhand how much the cod was per pound? Uh, $7.99. $7.99 per pound. Yeah. You just spoke the phone. Oh. Theta, it's Doris Italian Market and Bakery. I've got the one in North Palm, but they've got other locations. Yeah. Oh, okay, you hear that, Curtis? I'm getting yelled at. Uh, are you? What'd you do? She's like, oh, you just focus on the fish. Just keep it on the fish. Keep the camera on the fish. I want to get some more pork. So I'm gonna take my time with them. I'm gonna mm. now. This these pieces were pretty thick, so I'm gonna do them four minutes aside. I said it for three because they were in there. Uh, they have sunrise, timber pines. North Palm, Boca, and Cool Springs. They do catering. If you want them to make your holiday dinner, they'll do that. Yes. We shop at the one uh, in North Palm Beach. Yes, we do, right there. Okay, see how this is starting to get golden around there? Yep. Yep, that's what you want. And then what we're going to do is, once it's done, obviously, we're going to flip it and flip it on the other side. We're going to drain it on a paper towel. And when you're making fish like this, a good fish spatula is priceless. If you try to reach it and turn it just a tall, you're gonna break it. You're gonna you're gonna tell from the way. Yeah. So these are not expensive. It's special. Even I knew that, and I'm just a popcorn chef. <laughs> Barely that. Barely. <laughs> <laughs> you did burn a big batch of popcorn. I did burn a batch last week. Oh, and I haven't gotten around to it, but I was gonna make some. A, a nice way to round out this meal would be some corn muffins, and there is no shame in using Jiffy corn muffin mix. Mm, I don't know. Chicken Mike might disagree with you. Well, I tell you what. The people on the Food Network use it, and if yeah. it's good enough for them, it's good enough for me. Why don't we save that? Yeah. Oh, no, we're not making it tonight, but I was I was just going to let you guys know that that would be a nice way to round out this meal. Yeah. <laughs> you know, or you can also, you can you know, you can put these in the little uh, muffin tins, you know? Yeah. Or you can put it in a... Like a baking dish, like you would bake a, um, a meatloaf in, and you can you can make it that way, and that way you can slice it, slice it. It says so right on the box. I'm not going to eat it. John said it's three people, two pieces of fish. Curtis ain't getting none. That's okay, John. I don't eat fish anyways. It's okay. I bring Curtis in sometimes, right? Yep. Yep. I mean, I get mad when she does, but. <laughs> <laughs> and I eat right in front of your mad face anyway. <laughs> you know, I'm joking. <laughs> Again, um, with this, don't don't mess with it. Put it in and leave it alone. And for for, for four minutes. You're doing it for four minutes. Four, four minutes aside. If, you, if, you're, if you're just thinner, these are just pretty thick. Um, so I think four, I don't think it's going to overcook it four minutes aside. If they're thin... Try two. Uh, it really just depends on the thickness of your fish. But I think four minutes aside, it's going to be good. Now, this may be a dumb question, but when you go to Doris and if you request said cod, mm -hmm. do they slice it for you or is it already, is it pre-sliced? It's or? already sliced. It's already sliced. Mm -hmm. So you could get, it may be thick. Yeah, it could be thick. Yeah, well, thick. The, the thing about the, the cod filet is it's thick and then it goes thin. So what I did is I trimmed it and I saved the thinner part to use for something else. Gotcha. Okay. Karen, don't point that out. He's going to have a meltdown. What did she say? What did Karen say? She said something about oil splattering on the cooktop. Well, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we are frying something. Yeah, that means I have to clean that up. All right, so 
Got my fish spatula. And I'm going to let that help me. And just roll it. Look at how beautiful that is. Uh-oh, Susan yeah. says she power poured the Johnny Walker. <laughs> What's that? Susan says she power poured the Johnny Walker. Don't light a match near her right now. <laughs> I don't know if I've ever heard that, a power pour. I like it. See, isn't that beautiful? That's the color you want. It's nice and golden. Nice. Yeah. And then we're going to do it another. You doing four minutes this side? Yep. I'm setting it for because I didn't set the timer right away. Tom Serio oh. wants to know if you got a food delivery service, Sally. No. Other than like Chinese and pizza, I've never, I've, we've never done food delivery. No, no, no. Service. He wants you to deliver food to him. Oh. <laughs> Just send, uh, what's Paul's thing? My Liberta? Yeah. <laughs> Tell yeah. Paul to come pick it up. Tell Paul to come pick it up and he'll deliver it to you. Go through my, yeah, if you call my Liberta and say, hey, will you bring me some of Sally's food? They'll probably say, what the hell are you talking about? Oh, Linda, you missed it. She put the box of Jiffy up. Oh, did, uh, oh. Linda wants to see the box of Jiffy. You've seen that in a grocery store. America's favorite, mm -hmm. Jiffy, corn muffin mix. Now, I know question. people make great corn muffins from scratch. I'm just not one of those people. Now, can you add to this? Maybe if you would like to do jalapeno muffins, can you throw some jalapeno chunks in there when you make this? I'm sure you could. Or, you know. I bet you could. But this, I mean, all you do, I think, with this is an egg and some milk. That's, that's all you need. So you could add to it and doctor it up? Oh, that's true. Why not? Oh, maybe I'll try that later. <laughs> Uh, Marina would like to know where you got that slotted fish turner, Sally. Oh my gosh, I'm sure I got it at TJ Maxx. But you can, you can find it. It's not, it's, it's not that hard to find. Don't, you can find it on Amazon. Is there a brand name on there, maybe somewhere? Do you have any idea how long I've had this thing? Mm. Oh. K U H N R I K O N. Never heard of it, but it wasn't expensive. Can you see the lettering on there? Yeah, it was really hard to see. K U H N. Oh, so that would be maybe Con Rico. <laughs> I, mean, I don't know. I'm sure it was hanging at TJ. I don't know. I've had some wine. I'm not going to try to pronounce that. Go on Amazon. You mess around and cuss on this thing. Mess around and say some really bad words. <laughs> That's why I ain't trying to pronounce. I like it's gonna sound like something else. <laughs> <laughs> they might want to change the name of that company. <laughs> now I am gonna give this a little. I know I told you guys not to mess with it too much. I'm gonna give it a little bit of a tilt just to get. That's a thick side right there. I just want to get it a little fried like this. That's good. See if we can get that out. And watch this. Oh, jeez. All right. When things start popping. It's popping? It's really pop. Things start popping. That means I'm going to be mopping. All right. I'm going to give it just a few more minutes so I didn't pop, set the timer quite right. All right. And then we'll set them up here and let them drain. So what we're doing right now, we're just watching this cook. Mm -hmm. Okay, that's a good time for me to go get some more wine. Okay. And some steakhouse uh, onion cheese. We got no table. We got nothing. Look, look at that. What a mess. It's not that you're acting like that looks so just you know like messy and stuff. It looked pretty good. Well, that's because all afternoon I was putting it, kind of putting it back together a little bit. Yeah, they're sending somebody over here to mop the floors tomorrow. Of course. Oh, oh you gotta go back. I'm getting yelled at. Well, stop stringing so far. Make sure you know what that is, because that sounded like I may have taken a bathroom break. Taking a tinkle at the table. Taking a tinkle. All right, so I'm coming back over. Again, so you, you see with that fish spatula how easy that makes it? Yep, yep, yep. And then we're gonna drain it. 
If you're just joining us, this is Pan Fried Cod. It's Sally's Recipe of the Week brought to you by Doris Italian Market. And you can get the recipe at 1055online.com. And we're serving it with an apple slaw. And, and uh, if I had had time, I would have made some corn muffins, but I didn't. No, not muffins from scratch, muffins from the box. All right. So I'm just going to take this off the heat. This muffin's in a box. <laughs> 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 just let those drain for just a minute and I'll plate up a little bit of this coleslaw. Ooh, this look this good. Slaw. Don't they look pretty? And I don't fry a lot. Have you ever had apple in your coleslaw before? Yeah, I think so. What's uh what's something you should not put in coleslaw? Hot dogs. Hot? Who would put, <laughs> put a hot dog in coleslaw? <laughs> that sounds gross. Uh, grapes, I don't think would be good in coleslaw. No? Yeah. No grapes? I don't know. What about celery? Is it okay to put celery in coleslaw? Probably, if you like it. Bear says uh, he's got 10 on the watch party. Thank you, Bear. Hi, Bear. Um, oops, we got some coleslaw plated up there. I'll be right back. We're plating. We're plating. This isn't a fancy plate at all, you guys. Um, I like a little bit. I, I I love this mustard, so I'm going to put a little squirt of mustard on the side. What do you do that for? And to maybe dip my fish in it. Uh, oops! You could make. Um, oh, your mustard! That mustard just farted. <laughs> yeah, you know, you got to be careful with squeezy stuff because it's oh going. Oh my gosh! It just blew up. Um, you could do tartar sauce if you wanted. I like mustard. Have to wipe that There's lots of people put sl uh, slow on their dogs. That is right. Yeah, that's true. I don't know about that. Oh, I don't want to use that. I don't want to use my other one. Right. Joanne so, says peanut butter is a no for coleslaw. Peanut butter? I, I would agree with I that. Would agree with that. Raisins? Can you put raisins in coleslaw? I, I think no, don't be putting raisins in stuff. Don't do that. <laughs> All right. So here's our dish. All right. So that's it. Um, what do you think? Well, I'm a little concerned about the mustard. I don't know. Do, do, do people eat mustard? Well, there's mustard. Fish? Remember, there's mustard in here, so you can add. Yeah, you sure can. You can do whatever you want. Or, like I said, if you want to make some tartar sauce, or just get some jarred tartar sauce. I okay. love tartar sauce. All right, get in close there. Look at Curtis. That. Do you like uh, tartar sauce? Steve? I don't really have much of occasion to eat it because I don't oh, really Kurt, eat fish. You, like, you don't eat fish. That's right. That's true. Take a little bite. All right. All right. What do you think? Are we going over here to? Uh, mm. Bear says it's too pretty to eat. Nope, it's not. <laughs> Everybody, y'all got to get some of that steakhouse onion cheese. Woo, that's good Linda stuff. Linda says it looks yummy. Does Linda eat fish? It's hot. It's hot. Mm -hmm. mm. Yeah, Joanne, come back. Uh, we'll be back, what, next Thursday when everybody has their life together on the proper day. <clears throat> Yep. I'll tell you though, it's, which camera can I on? Right here. Okay. Here. It's Karen, my sister from another mister, says she loves tartar sauce too. I like tartar sauce I can too. pretty much eat tartar sauce by itself. It's got a nice crust on the outside, and the fish is moist and flaky on the inside, and it goes, it pairs so well with this slaw, which just gives it freshness. And, you know, because this is fried, so you need something fresh. Mo, you'd like to try a piece? Sure. I'll, I'll cut it and let it cool. Yeah, it's probably too hot for me. Yeah. Aaron, because it tries to attack me like mac and cheese tries to attack you. That's why. That's why I don't eat fish. Do we eat coleslaw, Curtis? Not really. Nope. I love apples and coleslaw. <laughs> Chicken Mike said you're going to need to make him some for Christmas. Hint, hint. <laughs> Oh, Joanne, glad you had fun. Yeah, come back next week. Here, Mo, try, try the slaw. You can try the slaw. Joanne says it's just like mayo on anything. Okay. Make sure you uh, cooled it off of his uh, delicate well, mouth. It's, 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 it's the slaw. It's, you probably should cool that off, too. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, I made a damn mess. No, you didn't. <laughs> oh. And mm. give him his bib in his high chair. Yeah, you know I got to have a bib on. <laughs> All right, that's cool enough, though. Oh, now I'm going to try this. 
Oh my god, it's another disaster. <laughs> oh, that's delicious. I didn't spill any of that. <laughs> uh, yes, Aaron, we'll be on the radio on Monday. You don't really taste the cayenne. It just gives it a warmth, don't you think? Mm -hmm. It's not hot because of the cayenne pepper. Not at, not at all. So don't be afraid to stick a little cayenne in there. Uh-oh, Karen says, oh, she just, she just posted a deadly combination. Coleslaw and Publix fried chicken. Oh, chicken. Right about the Publix fried chicken. Yeah, okay. we had that Publix fried chicken for the first time, what, about a week and a half ago? Oh, my gosh. That was fantastic. Mm -hmm. we, we'd always get their, uh, what's that, rotisserie chicken? Yeah. But it was really good. All right, so give that a try, you guys. All right, the pan-fried pan pod, pod and coleslaw. You can get the recipe at 1055online.com. Really? And uh, again, you can get all your ingredients at Doris Italian Market. I'll tell you this wine, Carmel Road. I think it was maybe ten bucks. It may have been nine bucks at uh, Doris. It's good wine, it? and it's good stuff. And then uh, it pairs really well with the uh, steakhouse onion. Yancey's fancy, one of my favorites. Can't go wrong. All right, so uh, are we done here? We are all done. Thank you guys for watching, spending your Friday with us, and like like we said. We're back on track for next week. It'll be Thursday. Absolutely. Uh, get the recipe at 1055online.com. Thank you guys so much for watching and have a great weekend. Be safe. Stay safe. And happy holidays. And we'll see you soon. Bye.